it's a mad angle. Whoa, it's a mad angle. So, it just it doesn't do it justice, but this feels like really. It feels like I'm about to roll on the side. Actually, look at the. There's the ground. Yeah. It's just there. I feel like I can lick it. <laughs> I probably can. Well, not quite, but. You, you... Guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews, welcome to another vlog. I am here live, um, at Silverstone, I almost said live, but obviously I'm not live, you'll be watching on YouTube. Um, at Silverstone um, for a um, little vlog for you guys. Um, we're doing a bit of track action, of kind of different pictures and individual things, but I'm going to um, go, I'm going to do basically, or go around in a number of cars and kind of let you know of what they, what I think of them basically. I've been in obviously 718 and other than that I haven't been many, so watch on and we'll see what we can get you. Cheers. So we're about to go on an off-road course with um, Shaz, our instructor. Um, obviously, we're Karen, uh, Karen? Aaron from Car Obsession. And there, look, obviously you can see it's getting beaten around. But yeah, we're about to go off-road. It should be pretty cool. I don't think we're driving. I think we're just getting uh, basically chauffeured around and uh, scared, I think. So uh, yeah, obviously we're here surrounded by loads of amazing cars. Oh, he's talking about amazing cars. Look at that. My God. Oh, oh, oh. oh sorry. What a car. Still haven't driven one, but I want to. But anyway, watch on and we'll see what we can get for you. Then park there. Cool. Yeah, it's in the Y, isn't it? Doesn't look like steep until you're actually wrong. Yeah, no, you can tell once they're up there. And what going what up. gradient is it? Yeah, that's no, must, that's must, no, no, it must be that. way more than that, I reckon. Yeah. That's close to 45 degrees, it's not I reckon. far off it. Oh, really? Yeah. It will give me a percentage. That'll be, that'll be about 30. But, um, I reckon that's about 35, I reckon. Nice. All we're going to do is drive up here and oh, see so the sky. Oh, yeah. You fully comp, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 29 degrees, there you go. Nice. Just sitting here on hill hold and not touching any of the controls. Apply a little bit of power and then <laughs> into rollback. It feels so weird. It feels awesome. like I'm lying down. That's awesome. Cool. Big resistance when you don't. If you watch the car there, you can see the suspension working. Wheels on full compression, wheels on full stretch as it's going over the ridge. So it's quite so the sensation sitting in the car will feel very flat. There's a lot of suspension travel travel at the rear. Really, yeah. Sideways. Yeah, that looks good. To be honest, I don't need. Okay. At the moment, we're still driving as a road car. I haven't used any of oh, its wow. off-road settings okay. at all yet. I work normally with the principle that what's a great assistance when you need it is a big resistance when you don't. I'm going to change the setting on the car now. Um, essentially we've done everything as a road car. The car feels very flat on here, you don't feel any change in the bodywork. It's all the suspension moving. Yeah, you're going to feel a little bit of movement obviously, but the car itself stays very no, flat. Impressive, yeah. That's pretty sideways. Yeah, that looks good. off the ground completely and as we're going round I'm really only driving the wheels on the left side 
You can take a reference, say, from the corner of the windscreen to look at the horizon. It gives you some idea yeah. of the angles we get. To. Yeah, that's <laughs> some bad angle. Whoa, that is a bad angle. It so, just—it doesn't do it justice. But this feels like really. It feels like I'm about to roll on the side. Actually, look at the. There's the ground. Yeah. It's just there. I feel like I can lick it. <laughs> I probably can. No, well, not quite. But you, you probably hit the, not quite. the door handle scrape in a few moments. Yeah. That is impressive. That, that was uh, oh, that's awesome. 33 degrees, I think I saw. The, uh, 33 the degrees. Awesome. That is impressive. Awesome. Love it. Nice. It just literally that felt like. That felt like a Terry Grant moment. <laughs> yes, it did, yeah. I thought it was two wheels. This is crazy. That looks awesome. Slide a little bit. So it's K and S. This is again. Um, let us know a bit more about the, what the power and the spec again. You you said this is a, a V6. V6. Three point. Sorry, two point nine. V6. Two point nine V6. Turbo with four hundred forty horsepower. Twin turbo, four hundred forty horsepower. And it does all this as well. It's epic. So good. So Love again, it. I'm just on gravel. Holding it lightly on the brake. Now I feel I've got contact, I can use the descent again. You can't come down nice and controlled. Yeah, the camera doesn't really pick up. Um, no, I'm intrigued, it's incredible. Trust me, that oh, is yeah, properly steep. That is cool. <laughs> and once again, it's like take off. Sky. I feel like I'm on an aeroplane at yeah. the moment, about to take off. Or taking off, should I say? The angle is unbelievable. Whoa, that looks crazy. Whoa, I was going to say, it's a drop. It's not it looks crazy when you're starting to go down it like this. Yeah. Damn. Going down. Yeah. Nice. The art of this is suspension is changing. So is that standard? Or is that an option? Uh, it's an option. Okay. It's on the air suspension. It's cool. Brilliant. Back on the tarmac. So yeah, that's the end of our off-road experience. I have to say that was absolutely epic. That is just brilliant. Um, yeah, we're obviously in a um, Cayenne um, Turbo, um, 400 and crazy horsepower. You told us actually, um, it's got those um, kind of alloys and big tires on that actually. So it's not um, crazy sporty or anything like that, but it still shifts like hell. But obviously it's what, we, what the guy had uh, said is basically how capable they are. And obviously Porsche still make a chassis in a car that still can do the sporty things that you'd think a Porsche would be able to do. But yeah, it can do what you've just seen in my video. And that's just unreal. I mean, I can't believe how that can go off-road like that. And the, the, the cool thing is with an optional extra, that is the ride height can be adjusted. And if you are gonna use it for what we've just done, you definitely want that um, that package on there because you can adjust the ride height and make sure that you're, you're getting good clearance underneath that car. But that, that was just so much fun. I wish it was me driving it, but to be fair, I probably wouldn't know how to do things like he did unless I learned the car and probably done a bit more with it, but probably was better. Um, showcasing how good that car was with uh, someone who was capable of driving it as as that as it should in that um kind of environment should i say but yeah absolutely all absolutely epic so uh yeah i hope you enjoyed that as just a bit of a bit of fun um and yeah if you are interested in something like like that go and uh, i'll give you links in the bio um as to a bit more about it and uh yeah, go check it out thank you very much um, to porsche gb um hope you enjoyed our little video um as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.